Yeah, yeah. yeah so Temple Shot, uh, he, 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 he told us in a post podcast last week for Sea Rivals that uh, his team has been scrimming four times this week. So clearly they yeah. were very, very, very well prepared for this one. Yeah. Yeah. And the same with PhD. PhD was scrimming, I think, scrimmed like four or five times this week as well, including mm -hmm. last night. Um, so both, both teams really want to win this. This is a big deal for not only for NA, but also for EU. Now, neither team wants to relent uh, and give up uh, give up that title, you know? Like, so this is a, a big one. This is a big one. Also, I want to apologize for saying Clan Elias. I wanted to say we were Clans, but sometimes I get excited and I, I mix things together. It's part, It's the New Yorker in me. Sometimes we eat a little bit too much glue and, uh, you know, years of playing CB, I, I lost my cue along the way, you know? It is what it is. So I agree. All right. What do you reckon Plumgard are going to do now then, Zelgius? Do you reckon... Uh... Gonna they're gonna have it. to, you know. I, I if, uh, if I, I'm gonna be honest, I, they're just gonna have to win that, bro. Uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, you know, in this scenario, Maximus PG is definitely gonna have to. Make, I mean, they got their strats, they got their plans. Maximus is a well-oiled shot core. No, I keep saying well-oiled, but I just can't help it. It's as far as just the word of the day, I guess, is well-oiled confirmed. <laughs> um, but you know, Maximus is a vet shot core. He, he calls a stack every for for years now, and uh, he knows his shit. Yep. So I'm, I'm really curious to see if they use a similar strat or if they go for that tab left uh, staircase. I, I mean, I think, I think uh, the Weird Clowns team had a crazy strat with the going down the main alley. Like, that was 100% the plan. As soon as I saw them do it, I did it. I realized 100% what they were going to do, and they did exactly what I expected. Two sets of ISGs up front, Trump's coming in on the back. They really, they clearly had that well versed and well prepared. It was almost yeah. like watching a theater play <laughs> with how good those Trumps were. I've never seen such good Trumps. I really haven't. Yeah, it was really good. Um, so let's see what like that. Let's see what happens in game two of the series for the finals. Weird Clowns are now defending, uh, Pondegard attacking. It's all new uh, Zelgius again. Go ahead. Oh, hell yeah, man. So this time we got PhD on the Assault here, taking in an uh, interesting unit comp. Pretty much, the same, pretty much every team has the same type of unit comp here. Um, you know, it, it's going to be something to watch. Claymore is being used as well. We've got some Great Hairs Alchemist mixed in. Uh, not as many Ball Boys this time. A couple of Ball Boys on each team, but not as many as last time. Actually, disregard that. I do see a few sets of Ball Boys on the field. Nomcons mixed in as well. Interestingly enough, Nomcons mixed in for the We Are Clowns team. Um, I think Clowns are going to They've got five I, bosses. I, I, Sorry for putting in, but I think they're going to yeah. sell you. I, I mean, maybe. I, that'd be interesting to see if they sell in this map. I don't think it's a sally worthy map, um, especially. but I, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see. I'm not familiar with this map that much, um, but we'll really have to see um, if they go for that sally. They might. They do. You might You might be right, Mark. They do have five sets of fucking cav out. Uh, and it's yeah. about to start leading the charge. And about to start does happen to be a really good cav player. Um we immediately oh. did it and they on their defense they sallied out with uh, multiple units and they took about 200 units extra out at the very start so it might be the mm. the kicker like that might be what these guys are going to try and do here as well i think it's gonna be a, a absolutely delicious fight here and uh we're really gonna have to see how it goes down um as we as we witness this unfold i mean i'll let me zoom out here let me take a look at the map and see if they go for that sally bro and you know they don't they don't uh, um, I'm not sure where they are. They're not. They're not looking. They're not in a sally position. Actually, yes, they are. They are in a sally position. They might be going for this. Now I do see Kicker Battle Sub Waybro, Kicker Amaya, and Kicker MX and you looking to make a play. They're going straight out the gun. Maximus caught with his pants down 100%. He's by himself right now. Pine as well. Oh, if if clowns see it, if clowns see it, I don't know if they see it. They definitely don't see it. No way they see that. No way this happens to PG. There's no way they get sallied on. Holy shit, they do get sallied on, and it is confirmed. We are clowns are going to take that tab right supply right from right from PG. SKW Max was immediately realizing what's happening, move their units back. Pi and Astro Tree Akuma take down two nice forming a front line with a million zillion sets of Florida Brachios and Empikes. They are ready for the sally, but not wasting any time, shooting off a warning trap. I'm not sure if that trap wasn't the play. I would have let them charge. Max is a tab right supply solo. <laughs> Uh, against FLIN here. Uh, we'll have to see if that, how that goes. Max doesn't have a unit, but neither does this guy, so we'll have to see. SKW kind of probing, looking around. Uh, PG taking a very slow approach here. Um, but very wary of, tr of the cab. Honestly, I think Clowns made a smart play here. Um, they flashed the cab, like, you know, like, if you're wearing a Rolex, for example, like, oh, you're wearing a Rolex, goddamn, bro. Like, the Clowns are like, oh, we're flashing our tier 5 cab, look at us, you fucking do something stupid, we're sailing on you. And I think PG now are gonna take, it's like a buying time tactic, almost. Like, big, like, big brain play there, like, Malaki Strat, 4, 000, like, level 4,000, uh, flashes the cab, doesn't actually waste it, but just takes the time to, uh, make PG slow down, make them, buys 30 seconds and it's it's game changing on home point realizing home point is going to be attack orientated um, they're looking for that opportunity Amaya actually seeing on tab left side 
Gilchrist still in the back. Sig also in the back. What does Sig even have out right now? I'm going to take a quick look. He's got javelins out. I mean, he could have sat it out, but I killed those javelins. There's F14 Brockers in the back line for PG, but they're still kind of hanging out, being chilling back there. It does look like PG's going to take a very different strat here. They're not even going to touch that, that mini castle, that big castle. They went right to the church. They're a holy group. They are. This is a, actually a, um, this is actually a tribute to the Holy Crusaders team by taking the church off the bat. Um, they're, they're giving a the shout-out to that team right now by taking this. It's SKW Watson Aspen Tree getting ready this using their... Look, they're just supporting the longboys, watching this picks him off with his with his bow, bro. Um, really nice by taking this mini chart. Oh, this is a sick map, dude. Honestly, I mean, the aesthetics on this map are freaking awesome. I love this, dude. I love this. Um, really cool map. Uh, Maximus and Watson will take A decisively. Bridge destroyed, of course. Um, any bridge fall offers? Nope, not, not, not a single bridge fall offer. Um, but uh, I have to say, you know, Beachy taking a quick B here, a uh, quick A here. We'll have to see if they do the same exact strat here. As uh, we are clowns, we are clowns not taking the same approach as PG did on defense, though. They are stuck on this tab right side. They realize the threat of that uh, that main alleyway push, and they do not want to give that or do they. We'll have to see. Kicker FLIN and MXNU on the bridge here, but they really this is super trebable right here. I'd have to be very, I'd be very curious to see if they actually try to hold this bridge. I'd be very curious. Um, PG will take that tab right side, realizing they can't really be sallied on at this point unless it comes from the castle itself, uh, which really wouldn't be in the favor of clowns I mean, to do that. I mean, C4, of course, watching the alleyway just in case they try it because it does look like you do need to have at least one person watching it. So C4 hanging out, being chilling there is not surprising to me whatsoever. It does look like we are clowns are going to defend this bridge with their lies. What is this? What is this? Is that a treb? So as you can see, the trebs have been already a little bit more questionable than the last fight. Um... PG's definitely going to need to be playing a lot smarter with their trebuchets here. It's three, two trebs down, um, and uh, it's going to be interesting here to see. Yeah, bridge down as well here. Uh, Kicker Tetsu looking to make a play here and uh, get something down. I actually, taking, I didn't even know that bridge could come down. That's actually a really good play, in my opinion, by um, We Are Clowns. Did We Are Clowns take out that bridge? Did you see? They did, yeah. They did, yeah. <clears throat> they used the, the culverins next to it to, to shoot it down. Wow. That was a big mistake by PG not to do that then. That was a huge mistake not to do that. I didn't even know that bridge could come down. That's a huge mistake by PG not taking down that bridge. That's exactly where We Are Clowns went. So PG's already in a tougher scenario than We Are Clowns here. Um, could be an interesting uh, turn of events here for PG. We'll have to see how it goes down. They have one choice but to use this bridge or turn around and go back to the castle itself. But who really wants to fight in the castle? I know I don't. Um... But they're gonna get picked up by all this range. It's a tough scenario here, man. It's a tough scenario for PG. Uh, we're really looking at uh, an interesting fight. We'll have to see how it goes down. I mean, what's that? Oh, you can rebuild the bridge. See, I don't know this map. This is interesting. So they're actually stacking the rebuild the bridge. They want this bridge back. I mean, good play with no RD being able to put down the fight. How long does it take to get the bridge back down? Well, what it is, is it's if you're all trying to build it, but because the army is there and not to mm. stop them from building it constantly, so every single time they go to it, they keep hitting the person that's building it. So that's why they all stacked everybody to Pongar to try and I get it see. stacked. So they, they don't get to... hit building it. So what it sounds like what Pongar needs to do is put some ISGs in that Shiltron formation and tank it while the team builds it. Yep. I mean, look pretty, at that. They're really struggling it. to build this stupid thing. Like, they can't... They, it's going to be almost impossible for them to push without this bridge. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes down. There it is! The bridge is up, boys and gentlemen. They do get back up. PG says, fuck that. We're going to take our time. We have 11 minutes on the clock. We're going to take our time and build this bridge back up. Um, you know, we'll have to see how it goes down. Of course, they do. This time, they're hard decisively pushing this bridge. They're going to have no time for Weir Clowns. Weir Clowns are definitely hard defending this. That's a decent trev. We'll have to see if Weir Clowns walk into it. And they do. They do. They do. They do. Um, they're gonna walk right into that. They are actually bracing on that bridge right now. That trap is gonna just miss. That is really sad. Actually hits once. Um, the other two traps missed by just a minute, just an inch there. Um, really nice hold there by, uh, by, uh, We Are Clowns. Really kind of tanking that trap, not willing to give that spot. The IHG, the, they have Impikes currently walking these modals. Really close action right here. Impikes charging in, ready to get, and then walking on top of them for PG. We're a hard engagement here. Deal for life. Rev the Brave fighting Jabba Mule. Jabba Mule is tanking that Maximus in the back line, trying to hold Watson sniping. A flanking play coming in by We Are Clowns. We have Wero and Kicker Dunkle pushing through here. Maximus getting killed by that flank. 
Wow, what a good play here by Weir at Clouds. They're really holding it. PG really fighting hard, too. It's really even exchanges. Um, currently, four dead for PG, only two dead for Weir at Clowns. Um, unit counts are pretty even right now in terms of deaths and the units on the field right now. Uh, it's still anybody's game right now, ladies and gentlemen. Supply point is being taken. Uh, Kicker Balthasar trying to hold it. A spawn coming in by MXMU of all cap. He is going to look for the play. That's a great spawn. I didn't know he could spawn there. Um, he's actually going to ignore that completely, realizing there's M Pikes. The Javelin's going to great throw off by Sig. Sig ignores Balthasar the Longsword and goes for the units instead. Um, takes out um, those just, cap. Yeah. Um, he just took the supply point back there from PG as well, so and he's just came in with behind. So uh, interesting from Weiro as well. Absolutely. Weiro. Absolutely. Look at, look at this cap spawning coming in through, too. Is this Chevaliers? Uh, that, 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 is, that is not Chevaliers. Uh, Weiro has that. Uh, let's take a look. He has cat, uh, cataphracts. Cataphracts are actually way underestimated right now. He comes in hot on supply. Slams the kill box. Six still alive. Ka Balthus are still tanking this shit the whole time. I'm not like PG's really struggling here, man. Uh, Weiro does take the acid too decisively. Uh, wow. Weiro also kills Watson. Nice kills. Nice kills. Uh, this is still anybody's game. Currently, more units dead for PG than for uh, We Are Clowns. We Are Clowns does hold supply point. Look at that. They are completely reset back up on supply. PG is uh, in Castle. They've completely rotated off. They gave up on tap right side. Mr. Billy, the SKW, and State kind of caught alone out here. Um, Gilcho on the back line harassing, but he's just kind of back there by himself. The castle is now the play. PG is completely rotated off here. Um, said, fuck that tab right side. We're going in castle while they're distracted on the tab right. And they, like, screw that spawn. That spawn's terrible. They fight some ISGs and Medows inside the castle against Coggin and, and Sarah's them. They do kill those ISGs and Medows for free. PG does get some kills back. Um, but Addis Balsam, uh, I'm sorry, I wrote bad names. Temple Shot, Kicker Balthasar, and Java Mule have already rotated off supply and responded ASAP to the B side hold. The castle is the play now for PG. They're going for a head front push here instead of that tab right side like like we are clowns did and they are winning that castle pretty decisively pg death balls out pretty like death ball is one of the best thing pg can do here they get a preemptive trap off on b side to stop uh we are clowns from pushing out here uh because our cat fracks coming in hot for pg as well they push all the way through man all the way through look at those cataphracts go man really nice play there i hope those cataphracts got some decent kills i'm not sure if they did uh, but they pushed all the way through with those they really responded pg really death blowing b here they're going for a snowball tactic here um, it does look like at this point in time, we are clowns are giving them zero time to breathe. They're really fighting back at every step of the way. I mean, holy smokes, ladies and gentlemen. This, does, this is a good fight. This is a nice fight. Uh, we'll have to see if Sig and Watson can get back in the action here and make something happen. Currently on the, on the field, five dead for PG with only one dead for clowns. Uh, PG definitely has had many more dead than clowns for most of this fight. Um, but the unit counts are still pretty even with actually clowns having 100 units less on the field at this point in time. Uh, B is still decisively being capped at a quarter cap right now. Really hard, fighting hard here, though. Seven minutes still on the clock for a home point take. I mean, plenty of time here for PG to play and play smart here. And Chevalier is coming in hot for PG here. Really taking out the short sword. A uh, really nice play by PG. With the, the right unit at the right time. Two nice killing out King Schmexi, one of their better players. Uh, Akumo getting Akumo holding the line up front with the plus. The plus game is definitely strong in PG. Um... I'm surprised they haven't taken B yet. Clowns are really fighting hard here. The body block with everything they have by as much time as possible. Two short swords fighting on it currently with them all uh, against it. It's a 3v3 scenario on the bed. No heroes are on the, fight, on the fight right now for We Are Clowns. We Are Clowns does have a many dead at this point in time. Actually, five dead as well for Clowns. Uh, but they're respawning much quicker than PG. It looks like PG still have four dead. Uh, really nice fight so far, man. Really nice fight so far. Um... <clears throat> Kicker Dunkle really getting kidnapped here and getting taken down. He's dead as hell. Kicker Battles on this guy's actually been this guy's been really uh, one of the guys to watch, man. Uh, about this guy Battles I, I see him in my siege matches all the time. He's a real riot. Bro. He's actually mad good. Um, Ask him to one HP getting out uh, by skin his teeth. Akumo taking down Balthazar, but his teammate Java Mill immediately comes supports and that's great teamwork. Ask him being chased and dove by Java Mill here. Um, wow, Clowns actually respawned units, ladies and gentlemen. Respawned double four to Brocchio and Cav. Got back in the fight and actually have Reapers following up. Clowns are decisively coming back into the play. PG does not really have a lot of units here right now. It will be a very tough scenario. It's going to be whoever wins this trade is probably going to win the fight. A lot of units being committed here 800 dead currently for clowns with only 600 dead for pg um at this rate in time if it keeps going this rate pg will have more units on the field than clowns uh towards the ladder of the fight it does look like a tab right approach is coming revel brave is in a 3v1 scenario with their four debrachios um maximus maria is trying to get involved here um has alchemist out though so he's not going to be much help b does decisively get taken though which is really really nice here uh revel brave sig and who is this? Gilcho running around up their pikes, trying to harass Balthasar. I want to thank his longswords in the game. He might give me for a run for my money as a longsword player. He might be actually good. Uh, better. We'll have to say. I'll have to try him. I'll have to try him sometime. 
Um, really nice fight here. Nice trap coming in by PG. Um, but for the gentleman in the, in, the, in the VC right now, what are you guys thinking so far? What's the thoughts? Go ahead, well, yeah. Uh, PG is definitely not ahead of units, but they are cleaning up right now a lot of the We Are Clowns units and We Are Clowns are in full retreat. So it's, I think PG has to push right now. Anything they have left, they need to use the traps. They don't, they don't have any traps left even. Oh, yeah. Pon Pond Guard win this, though. They've got 390 oh, yeah. units to 190 from We Are Clowns. They've no got the doubt. hero advantage as well. I, f I think this is Pond Guard's game. 100%. Pond Guard here needs to snowball. I fully agree with what CB was saying. A snowball is definitely in, in order here. Over half of Clowns are dead. There's no units at home point at this point in time. It's literally all heroes. Um, PG definitely have the unit advantage here. It's definitely their game at this point in time. PG came back to make it one and one at this point. We'll have to see those. The fight's not over. PG can fuck up here, possibly. I mean, it's possible for Clowns to come back and make a play here. PG going for the snowball tactic. Max is just, I can literally hear Max was saying right now, fucking win that. You gotta be your big here. I can literally see him yelling right now at SKW or Asper saying, you're big here, you're big here, or Pine, or you're big here. But, um, you know, I can see it happen. They're going for a momentum push here. I know these guys at the back of my hand, and this is a momentum push by PG. Um, they're going to decisively take this here. I, I don't think Clowns will be able to respond in time. We'll have to see only about 10 seconds, 15 seconds of the clock. It's already three-fourths capped. By the time they get there, there's four Brockers locking it down. One dual blade on point right now for Clowns, and that's it. Um, and he's about to die by the looks of it. Yeah, he is about to die, and he's dead. Um, and that's the game. One and one, ladies and gentlemen. One and one. That's a crazy good fight by PG. Great recovery on the tab right side. They were really getting kind of smoked down the tab right side, making that crazy rotation there to central. Really good call by whoever called that. I think it's probably Maximus. Um, take down, dude. Ladies and gentlemen, I know the salt mine's all here right now. And ladies and gentlemen, take that with the MVP. I got a fucking pog in the chat. We have a five minute delay, but I better see some pogs. I'm going to be a little hurt. I'm going to be a little hurt. Rebel Brave, of course, top to top three as well. Gilcho following up decisively. And uh, for uh, We Are Clowns, we have Wero, who really made some really good flanks there. Really was playing for his team. Kicker Flynn, who I saw him doing some great stuff. Amaya. And honestly, one of the unsaid uh, MVPs for We Are Clowns, I got to say, it's got to be Balthasar. That guy in the tab right supply was there alone for a good amount of time while his teammates made some spawn plays with their cab and tried to make some crazy flanks, giving the opportunity for Wero to make that big, get him, Wero that. MVP. So without Balthasar's Rear doesn't get MVP there, in my opinion. Uh, really nice play there by both teams. One and one, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, really nice job. Look at the post battle analysis. Uh, way different plays there than we saw with uh, We Are Clowns. PG definitely likes attack better. I think it's definitely attacker favorite once that B side is taken. Um, that bridge being taken down was really big there by We Are Clowns too. Uh, but PG does recover it and makes a good rotation as well. Really nice job of both teams there. Wow. Yeah, that was that was very well played that matchup, man. Like you could see the differences on the defensive styles as well. I I can understand why you could tell that we are clans did not want to fight on the end point if they could avoid it because it's just so wide open. If they've got trebs left over, they can basically hit the whole point, and you could see them proper like they were committing so many things to just not lose B 